The motive will determine the quality of the act. That's from the selected writings of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's understanding of human action and its operations in the world was, I would have to say, remarkable. His emphasis was always on the deep level, the underlying motive. He felt that that underlying motive would express itself no matter what happened in the realm of uh, observable action. And I've noticed recently that almost every uh, saint or sage or somebody that we really look up to as having some kind of spiritual wisdom has believed this, that sometimes you may actually have to use force to stop someone from doing something. But if you do that out of love for that person and not out of fear for your own well-being, you will have a nonviolent effect on that person. Thank you.